You know, I really don't think it matters if you've traveled a lot, if you've traveled your entire lifetime, or if it's your first time ever going international. It doesn't matter what your expectations are for the place. You can only know how you're going to feel once you get there. Sometimes you can have your highest hopes for a location, but for whatever reason, the energy, the sights, the smells, the people, it just does not agree with you. Or sometimes, if you're lucky, you can have a hope for a good experience and your time there just ends up going above and beyond. Luckily for me, this time in Thailand, that's what I experienced. Maybe it was the good tasting coconuts. Maybe it was the extremely affordable, extremely delicious Thai food. Or maybe it's the fact that you have to walk around barefoot in restaurants most often. I don't know. Something about Thailand I just like. I chose Thailand because number one, I've never been here. Number two, I needed to leave Indonesia for some time as a, for a visa run. And number three, Thailand has some pretty oceans that are sometimes visited by whale sharks. So it didn't take me long to find an island that was pretty well known for scuba diving, Koh Tao. As a English speaking person in Thailand, what do I do? I choose the predominantly Spanish speaking diving school called Pura Vida. You can hear the Spanish speakers from a while away, just having fun, laughing, talking, being very social. And it's just something I really wanted to be a part of. So I chose to take my course here, get certified with my open water, and then go right into the advanced adventurer phase. My instructor, Nico, and his assistant, Ro, they were just amazing. But you know, the thing about, again, having expectations of where you're traveling is too, when you do something like maybe going on a scuba diving trip, or like I experienced this also on my safari, is you have expectations or like the main reason why you're going on that trip is to see that animal, that pinnacle part of your trip. For the safari, we really wanted to see, you know, lions or a jaguar. And I ended up thoroughly enjoying seeing the wildebeest. The same can be said for my scuba diving trip. Unfortunately, on this trip, I did not get to see a whale shark, but I am totally okay with that because I fell in love with a fish called the trigger fish. There's something about scuba diving that is unlike any experience you will ever have. You are surrounded by animals that look like they are from another planet and just a complete ecosystem that was built to sustain itself and just creatures, sea life that is amazing. And you get to just float around there and observe. Suffice to say that scuba diving has given me a deeper appreciation for the ocean, for exploring wildlife, understanding and appreciating it, and just being in awe of how nature was designed to take care of itself and how each creature is deserving of your respect. If you ever find yourself in Thailand or more specifically in Koh Tao, 100% go find Pura Vida or if you're, you know, really gringo like me, Pura Vida and walk in, feel the environment, say hello, meet everybody and sign up for a course. The experience you will get will be second to none and you'll probably come away with some close friends as well. The more I travel, the less attached I feel to my things and the more valuable I find my experiences. And the more I realize that no matter how beautiful the photos are that I take or the angles that I get with the videos, without a doubt, the most important thing is to take the time and to just absorb where you are, take in the views, let yourself feel it because everything is a fleeting moment. The time that I spent getting my scuba certification with Nico and Ro has been amazing. And when people come together in the same place at the same time and you're all having just an amazing time, when you're in the moment, you don't know that it's a fleeting moment until it's over. During my time with the scuba diving class, learning about the ocean, learning about my own capabilities, and just enjoying my time with people who share that passion. And we thoroughly laughed at my inability to trill my R's. But this time around, I knew it was going to be a fleeting moment. And I was just taking, you know, like mental pictures whenever I could. Because especially when you travel, you are rarely in the same place again with the same people. I do not take it for granted. What's next after Thailand? You're going to have to wait and see.